Like many other brain children of GM, the Chevrolet Epica came to us in a converted form from Korea. It happened in 2006. It was the cheapest in the class, but at the same time it had a decent level of equipment, controversial design, good assembly, and quite decent characteristics. The low price of the car made it possible to stay afloat, but nothing more. In 2010, a restyling took place, which did not bring a significant increase in sales. And finally, in 2012, two years before GM left Russia, Epica, maybe temporarily, or maybe forever, went into the used car segment. And yet Epica's ride comfort is unlikely to upset anyone. You can thank for this quite good motors in terms of their characteristics. Under the hood, Epica has an inline transversely mounted six-cylinder unit, 2.0 or 2.4 liters. At the same time, finding a contractual replacement for it in the event of a complete failure will not be easy at all. But there were cases of critical wear of the nicosyl coating of cylinders up to the 200,000th car run. As you understand, such engines are not subject to major repairs, and replacing the entire unit costs the owner a pretty penny. And yet, you should not tear your hair out if you caught a car in intensive oil consumption. Most often, either the oil filter seal or valve stem seals are to blame. The most important thing is not to overheat the engine, as antifreeze leaks through the radiator pipes often occur. Regular checking of the fluid level one day can save the family budget from a possible collapse. If the problem has already manifested itself, do not forget to include the replacement of the thermostat in the list of repairs. Unfortunately, he did not excel in longevity. However, catalytic converters do not last long either. The bulk of the owners get rid of them even before the 150,000th run. And instead of an empty barrel, flame arresters are installed so as not to reduce the resource and performance of the exhaust system. Glitches and failures of the oil pressure sensor have become a recurring problem for Epica. An oiler blinking for no reason on the instrument panel indicates an upcoming replacement of the part. Craftsmen easily attach a sensor from the VA Ziovsky 9. Rumor has it that it serves no less than a native element. Do you change your own oil? Then do not lean heavily on the key when tightening the drain plug. Otherwise excessive stresses can cause a fatal crack along the pan, stretching from the junction of the parts. There were many such cases. Neither the mechanical transmission nor the automatic serious sores were found. All that worried the owners of the manual transmission during operation was the clutch release bearing, which began to chirp to 100,000 kilometers. The clutches themselves live a little longer. Only the drivers who considered the Epica a sports car, and not a comfortable family sedan, managed to kill the automatic before the 200,000th run. As a note to those whose intermediate wheel drive bearing has become unusable, we inform you that this element is changing despite the assurances of store managers, separately from the shaft itself. Both Russian P-W-206, slash as well as German and Japanese counterparts, are suitable here. The suspension received the most mixed reviews. On the one hand, it pleases with comfort and stability, on the other hand, it upsets with low endurance indicators. The bulk of the disputes and conversations are in relation to the floating, silent blocks of the rear thruster, multi-link. They live, by average standards, very little, 50 to 60,000 kilometers, therefore, the owners often resort to replacing them with more reliable and rigid rubber metal elements. This, in turn, leads to a change in some of the previous driving characteristics. The front suspension without knocking keeps about the same 50 to 60,000 kilometers. By this moment, shock absorbers are asking for garbage, suitable from Cherry Easter, and after a couple of tens of thousands, support bearings of struts and silent blocks of levers usually come to an end. The stabilizer bushings are also a weak point, and the process of replacing these elements cannot be called easy. In other words, by 100,000 kilometers, owners who love their car have time to replace most of the suspension elements. Around the same mileage, the steering rack oil seals begin to leak power steering fluid. The assembly itself, after changing the seals, is able to serve at least the same amount, but the resource of the tips is still lower, about 150,000 kilometers. And yet Epica's ride comfort is unlikely to upset anyone. You can thank for this quite good motors in terms of their characteristics. Under the hood, Epica has an inline transversely mounted six-cylinder unit, 2.0 or 2.4 liters. At the same time, finding a contractual replacement for it in the event of a complete failure will not be easy at all. 
Epica is the right car for long trips with the whole family. Epica is the right car for long trips with the whole family. But there were cases of critical wear of the nicosyl coating of cylinders up to the 200,000th car run. As you understand, such engines are not subject to major repairs, and replacing the entire unit costs the owner a pretty penny. And yet, you should not tear your hair out if you caught a car in intensive oil consumption. Most often, either the oil filter seal or valve stem seals are to blame. The interior consists of fairly high-quality materials, but the appearance of crickets in the cabin is not uncommon. Glitches and failures of the oil pressure sensor have become a recurring problem for Epica. An oiler blinking for no reason on the instrument panel indicates an upcoming replacement of the part. Craftsmen easily attach a sensor from the VA Ziovsky 9. Rumor has it that it serves no less than a native element. Crack seat sides sometimes require dealers to perform warranty replacements for damaged parts. Crack seat sides sometimes require dealers to perform warranty replacements for damaged components. As a note to those whose intermediate wheel drive bearing has become unusable, we inform you that this element is changing, despite the assurances of storm managers, separately from the shaft itself. Both Russian P-W No. 206, as well as German and Japanese counterparts, are suitable here. The suspension received the most mixed reviews. On the one hand, it pleases with comfort and stability, on the other hand, it upsets with low endurance indicators. The bulk of the disputes and conversations are in relation to the floating, silent blocks of the rear thruster multi-link. They live, by average standards, very little, 50 to 60,000 kilometers, therefore, the owners often resort to replacing them with more reliable and rigid rubber metal elements. This, in turn, leads to a change in some of the previous driving characteristics. There are fewer metamorphoses in the interior after restyling. The instrument panel and part of the center console have been adjusted. There are fewer metamorphoses in the interior after restyling. The instrument panel and part of the center console have been revised. The front suspension without knocking keeps about the same 50 to 60,000 kilometers. By this moment, shock absorbers are asking for garbage suitable from Cherry Easter and after a couple of tens of thousands, support bearings of struts and silent blocks of levers usually come to an end. The stabilizer bushings are also a weak point, and the process of replacing these elements cannot be called easy. The engine range is rather poor, but engine performance is commendable. In other words, by 100,000 kilometers, owners who love their car have time to replace most of the suspension elements. Around the same mileage, the steering rack oil seals begin to leak power steering fluid. The assembly itself, after changing the seals, is able to serve at least the same amount, but the resource of the tips is still lower, about 150,000 kilometers. Leaving the lubricant from Epica Motors is often associated with the loss of working properties of valve stem seals. Leaving lubricant from Epica Motors is often associated with loss of working properties of valve stem seals. There were also complaints about the behavior of the power steering, which did not want to help when taxiing at idle engine speeds. Updating the fluid in the system, however, as well as replacing the pump, did not always radically solve the problem. There are no complaints about the Epica brakes, both in terms of performance and wear. The original pads of a calm driver easily hold 50 to 60,000 kilometers, and the discs are at least twice as large. An electrician can present both harmless and costly surprises. In order to extinguish the airbag lamp that has suddenly lit up on the instrument panel, you will only need to restore the contacts of the connector under the driver's seat. With the dying fuel pump is already more difficult. At the first symptoms of an imminent death, bad start, sudden stop of the engine, you need to be prepared to buy this unit. Fortunately, this breakdown is not common among Epica owners. A simple looking interior does not cause any special problems. It scares, perhaps, the periodic appearance of crickets and the rather fragile fastening of the central mirror. One inaccurate movement and the reflector falls on the center console. The interior of the car does not leave signs of wear for a long time, but the combined upholstery of the seats gives up and gives slack quite early. For some specimens, one winter was enough for leatherette to crack on the sides of the seats. One of Epica's strengths is the bodywork. Only the branded cross on the radiator grill delivers minor troubles, which, by analogy with the Chevrolet Neva, can peel off and fall off already in the first years of the car's existence. It just so happened that Epica attracts with comfort, price, and equipment, but it scares away with the rather weak suspension and baby sores of the entire line of engines. It doesn't matter what the situation is with liquidity. 
In order to sell their large and comfortable sedan, the owners have to drop the price almost to the level of the golf class representatives. So the answer to the question is up to you.